Hello friends! Uh, I had a request for a tutorial for Lady May by Tile Childers. Um, I did this cover a few weeks ago and uh, a lot of you have liked it and requested chords and a tutorial on how to play. So I've toyed a little bit around with turning my channel into a cover slash tutorial channel. So if you guys are interested in that at all, I will make an effort to do that. I don't have any kind of editing software yet, so this tutorial is not going to have anything on the screen for you to see visually, but all the chords and stuff I will put down in the description below. Um, but for Lady May, it's pretty simple. There's four chords you use throughout the whole song, and those chords are C, F, A minor, and G. And so the intro to the song are those four chords, um, but the intro you play C, F, C, F, C, A minor, G, C. Again, I'll put that down below, but I'll play a little sample for you. So for the intro, I just kind of go up, down, up, down. You know, that's what felt natural and that's what sounded like close to the normal song when I listened to it myself, so... And then for the chord or the verse, um, same order of chords: C F C F C A minor G C. So the first verse, I'll just play C F C F C A minor G. And for the second half of the verse, it's the same order of chords. But I'll just play a little sample of the verse for you. So I'm a stone's throw from the mill. I'm a good walk to the river. When my working day is over, we'll go swim our cares away. And so it's the same order for the last half of that verse. Put your toes down in the water and a smile across your face. And tell me that you love me, lovely Lady May. And then it goes into the first chorus, which you, there's a different sequence of chords this time. Same chords, just different order. So the order of the chords for the chorus are A minor, G, C, F, C. So A minor, G, C, F, C. And it's like that for the whole chorus. So I'll play a little sample from the chorus for you. Now I ain't the sharpest chisel that your hands have ever held, but darling, I could love you well till the roll is called on high. And same, same order for the last half of the chorus. After the first chorus, you come to a break in the song and you play the same chords in the same order as you do for the intro. So C, F, C, C, A minor, G, C, and you can play that twice, once, whatever you want. And then after the break, you come into the second verse, which is in the first order of chords as the first verse. So again, C, F, C, A minor, G, C, and I'll just play a sample of that verse for you. Lord, the wind can leave you shivering. As it waltzes o'er the leaves, I've been rushing through my timber till the love brought on the spring. And it's the same order for the last half of that verse. Then it goes into the chorus again, which is the same order of chords for the first chorus. A minor, G, C, F, C. So I'll play another sample. Now I ain't the toughest hickory that your axe has ever felled, but I'm a hickory just as well. I'm a hickory all the same. And then it goes through that again for the second half of the chorus. 
and then that's the end of the song and then you play the outro which is same as the intro and the break the c f c f c a minor g c so i will lay that out in the description below uh, if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask if you have any constructive criticism this is my first tutorial ever so please tell me if there's something that i'm lacking or missing or that you wish i included um, please comment below and I hope to do more of these tutorials for you guys. Thanks. Bye.